dual cycle is a thermal dynamic cycle that combines the auto cycle and the diesel cycle in the dual cycle combustion occurs partly at constant volume and partly at constant pressure it can be used to describe internal combustion engines the pressure volume diagrams of actual internal combustion engines are not described well by the auto and diesel cycles an air standard cycle that can be made to approximate the pressure variations more closely is the air standard dual cycle a more capable approach would be to model the combustion process in both auto and diesel engines as a combination of two heat transfer processes one isochoric process and one isobaric process in comparison to an auto cycle which assumes an instantaneous heat addition or isochoric heat addition in a dual cycle heat is added partly at constant volume and partly at constant pressure therefore the advantage is that more time is available for the fuel to complete combust on the other hand the use of a dual cycle is is slightly more complex the thermal efficiency lies between auto and diesel cycle the dual cycle combines the auto cycle and the diesel cycle in this picture there is an auto engine which is ignited by a spark plug instead of, of compression itself dual cycle processes in a dual cycle the system executing the cycle undergoes a series of five processes two isentropic or reversible adiabatic processes alternated with two isochoric process and one isobaric process this is the pb diagram you notice the q in and the q out uh, in the compression stroke adiabatic compression then from the top the heat added to the power stroke adiabatic expansion intake stroke exhaust stroke so this is the compression ratio is equal to volume over volume though then the pressure one over pressure two is equal to volume one over volume two over volume one raised to kinetic energy. The isentropic compression or compression stroke. The gas is compressed adiabatically from state one to state two. As the piston moves from intake valve closing point one to top dead center the surroundings do work on the gas increasing its internal energy temperature and compressing it on the other hand the entropy remains unchanged the changes in volumes and its ratio volume one of volume two is known as the compression ratio the compression ratio is smaller than expansion ratio then the isochoric compression in the ignition phase in this phase between state 2 and state 3 there is a constant volume the piston is at rest heat transferred to the air from an external source while the piston is at rest at top dead center this process is similar to the isochoric process in the auto cycle it is intended to represent the ignition of the fuel air mixture injected into the chamber and the subsequent rapid burning the pressure rises and the ratio is known as the explosion ratio p3 over p2 isobaric expansion power stroke in this space between state 3 and state 4 there is a constant pressure the idealized model heat transferred to the 
air from an external source or the combustion of the fuel while the piston is moving toward the volume pour. During the constant pressure process, energy enters the system as heat Q add. And the part of work is done by moving piston. In isentropic expansion or the power stroke, the gas expands adjabitically from state 4 to state 5. As the piston moves from volume 3 to bottom dead center, the gas does work on the surroundings of the piston and the loses an amount of internal energy equal to the work that leaves the system again the entropy remains unchanged. Isochoric decompression or the exhaust stroke. In this case, the cycle completes by a constant volume process in which heat is rejected from the air while the piston is at bottom dead center. The working gas pressure drops instantaneously from point 0.5 to point 0.1. Then the exhaust valve opens at point 0.5. The exhaust stroke is directly after this decompression as the piston moves from the bottom dead center point 0.1 to top dead center point 0.0. With the, ex with the exhaust valve open, the gaseous mixture is vented to the atmosphere and the process starts anew. During the dual cycle, work is done. On the gas by the piston between states 1 and 2 isentropic compression work is done by the gas on the piston between stage 2 and 3 is isobaric heat addition and the between stage 2 and 3 is isentropic expansion so the difference between the work done by the gas and the work done on the gas is the network produced by the cycle and it corresponds to the area enclosed by the cycle curve. The work produced by the cycle times the rate of the cycle, cycle per second, is equal to the power produced by the diesel engine. Isentropic process. An isentropic process is a thermodynamic process in which the entropy of the fluid or gas remains constant. It means the isentropic process is a special case of an adiabatic process in which there is no transfer of heat or matter. It is a reversible adiabatic process. The assumption of no heat transfer is very important since we can use the adiabatic approximation only in very rapid processes. Isentropic process and the first law. For a closed system, we can write the first law of thermodynamics in terms of enthalpy. dH is equal to dQ plus BdP. Or dH is equal to dS plus BdP. Then the isentropic process dQ is equal to 0. So dH is equal to BdP. Then W is equal to H2 minus H1. Then H2 minus H1 is equal to Cp, T2 minus T1. An isentropic process of ideal gas. The isentropic process, a special case of adiabatic process, can be expressed with the ideal gas law. Pressure volume, Kelvin is equal to constant. So, or P1, V1, K is equal to P2, B2, K. In which, K is equal to Cp over Cb. is the ratio of the specific heats or heat capacities for the gas. One for constant pressure, Cp, and one for constant volume, Cb. Note that, the, that this ratio, K is equal to Cp over Cb, is a factor in a determining the speed of sound in a gas and other adiabatic processes. Isochoric process An isochoric process is a thermodynamic process in which the volume of the closed system remains constant. It describes the behavior of gas inside a container that cannot be deformed since the volume remains constant. The heat transfer into, our, into or out of the system does not the work 
but only changes the internal energy, the temperature of the system. Isochoric process and the first law. The classical form of the first law of thermodynamics is the following equation. DU is equal to DQ over DW. In this equation, in this equation, DW is equal to DW is equal to PDB and is known as the boundary work. Then DU is equal to DQ minus PDB. In isochoric process and the ideal gas, all of heat added to the system will be used to increase the internal energy. Isochoric process, PDB is equal to zero. DU is equal to DQ is for a ideal gas. Isochoric process of the ideal gas. The isochoric process can be expressed with the ideal gas law as pressure over temperature is equal to constant. Or pressure 1, temperature 1 is equal to pressure 2 over temperature 2. On a PV diagram, the process occurs along a horizontal line that has equation volume is equal to constant. Isobaric process. An isobaric process is a thermodynamic process in which the pressure of the system remains constant. P is equal to constant. The heat transfer into or out of the system does work but also changes the internal energy of the system. Since there are changes in internal energy and changes in a system volume, engineers often use the enthalpy of the system which define as H equals to U plus PB. Isobaric process and the first law. The classical form of the first law of thermodynamics is the following equation. DU is equal to DQ minus DW. In this equation, DW is equal to PDB and is known as the boundary work in isobaric process. And the ideal gas part of heat added to the internal energy increase the temperature. Therefore, it is convenient to use the enthalpy instead of the internal energy. In isobaric process, BDP is equal to 0. DH is equal to DQ. Then Q is equal to H2 minus H1. At a constant entropy, in isentropic process, the enthalpy p change equals the flow process work done on or by the system. In isobaric process of the ideal gas, the isobaric process can be expressed with the ideal gas low as volume over temperature is equal to constant or volume 1, temperature 1 is equal to volume 2 over temperature 2. On a PV diagram, the process occurs along a horizontal line called an isobar that has the equation pressure is equal to constant. The, uh, then the isentropic process. The first law, DU is equal to DQ minus PB, PDB. DH equal to DQ minus PDB is equal to DQ. In ideal gas relation, volume over temperature is equal to constant. Then the relations of pressure, volume, and temperature is volume 1 over temperature 1 is equal to volume 2 over temperature 2. Change in internal energy. DU is equal to MCB times T2 minus T1. Change in enthalpy. DH is equal to MCP T2 minus T1. Heat transfer. DQ is equal to MCP T2 minus T1. PDV work. Work input is equal to P volume uh, fuel minus volume input. Then PDB work. Work input to and fuel is equal to zero. Then isochoric process. First law. DU is equal to DQ. Ideal gas relation. Pressure over temperature is equal to constant. Then pressure, volume, and temperature relations. P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. Change in internal energy. So, DU is equal to MCB 
T2 minus T1. Heat transfer. DQ is equal to MCB T2 minus T1. PDB work. Work input fuel is equal to 0. Isobaric process. First law. DQ equals TDS equal to 0. DU equals PDB. Then the DH is equal to PDB. Ideal gas relation is PB raised to K is equal to constant. The pressure volume temperature relations is P1 over P2 is equal to volume 2 over volume 1 plus T1 over T2 raised to K over K minus 1. Then the change in internal energy. DU is equal to MCB D2 minus T1. Change in enthalpy. DH is equal to MCP T2 minus T1. Then the heat transfer in this process is 0. In the PDB work. So work DV is equal to PDB is equal to DU MCB T2 minus T1. Then the PDB work is work DP is equal to PDP is equal to DH then is equal to MCP T2 minus T1. The thermal efficiency for dual cycle. In general, the thermal efficiency of any heat engine is defined as the ratio of the work it does W to the heat input at the high temperature is QH thermal efficiency is equal to work over the high temperature the, te the thermal efficiency represents the fraction of heat that is converted to work since energy is conserved according to the first law of thermodynamics an energy cannot be converted to work completely the heat input must equal the work done plus the heat that must be dissipated as waste heat, heat in the environment therefore we can rewrite the formula for thermal efficiency as thermal efficiency is equal to work over high temperature is equal to high temperature minus waste heat over high temperature is equal to 1 minus waste heat over high temperature. Therefore, the heat added and rejected are given by heat added is equal to MCB T3 minus T2. Heat added 2 is equal to MCP T4 minus T3. Out. Heat out uh, is equal to MCB T5 minus T1. Therefore, the thermal efficiency for a dual cycle is thermal efficiency is equal to 1 minus CB or constant volume times T5 minus T1 over CB T3 minus T2 plus CP T4 minus T3. And now this is the whole uh, discussion for the wall cycle. Thank you.